Welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson will be on major triads. So let's take a look at our lesson objectives for today. We'll be explaining the root, third, and fifth, the three notes that are found in a triad or major chord. We'll also be exploring half note patterns that let you find a major triad in any key, even if you're not really comfortable with the key signature. So if you're in the key of A, for example, and you can't remember if it's flats or sharps, you can start on an A and count up a specific number of half steps to find a major third, and then a specific number of half steps to find the fifth. The root third and fifth are the three elements of our triad, or chord. We will then transpose every major triad into every key using patterns of half notes or, or remembering the key signatures of each key. So let's begin really simply with C major, which is all white keys. Here's how it sounds. So let's find our C. Okay, so we're focusing here on the root of the chord. There are three elements in a triad or chord. It can be called a triad or a chord. Tri, add, three notes. So if you have two notes, that is a chord of sorts, but it's not an official triad. So a triad is three notes. The first note of the C major triad is C. So here it is, this, we call this the root. When we have three notes piled on top of each other like that, that's what a chord looks like. Whether it's whole notes, half notes, or quarter notes, when you have three notes, one on top of the other, that signifies that they all need to be played at the same time. If you have C, E, G, like this, that is not a chord, that's this. One at a time, left to right. The chord has to be like this, vertically assigned. So let's look at what a third is. Beginning with our C, and let's mark our triad on the keyboard. This is a C, E, G. If we count from the first note of a triad, C, one, and we go up to E, we count C is one, D is two, and E is three. One, two, three, that's the third. Easy as that. So the third note in the triad is two notes away from the first note. And another way to think of that is our half note pattern. So starting from C, one, C is one, C sharp is two, D is three, D sharp is four, E is five. The third note in a major triad is five half steps above the first note. Five half steps above the first note or the root above the root. So let's take a look at the keyboard and let's count. So here's a C. One, two, three, four, five. That's a major third above the root. Root, third, fifth. Here's our chord. This is what it looks like when we play it. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Five half steps. Sometimes it can be called four half steps if you count starting on C sharp. One, two, three, four. But I think it's a lot easier to start counting on the first note of the chord, the root. C, one, two, three, four, five. Five half steps. So there is your major triad with focusing on our third, which is the E. This is the third. Whenever you have a chord, any chord, the middle, the one it's in root position, we'll get into inversions later. We're doing only root position for this lesson. Root position means you have the root note on the bottom, the third on, in the middle, and the fifth on the top. The third will always be in the middle. Okay, let's find the fifth. So we have C, E, and G. And as you remember from our lesson in scale degrees, C is one, D is two, E is three, F is four, G is five, six A, seven B, and then the eighth scale degree is back to this, the first note, C. So we have one, three, and five. Let's write it out once more, C, E, G. Here's the fifth. The G is the fifth scale degree. 
Okay. It's good to practice making your notes equidistant and really beautiful and equal. So it's really obvious that you are referring to a root position triad, C major. The way you find the fifth note of the major triad is also a series of half notes. Um, so as you remember from the C to the E is five half notes. And this is true for every major third in every major triad, five half notes. From the E to the G or from the third scale degree to the fifth, we start counting on the E, one, two, three, four. Four half steps between the third and the fifth. Okay, so let's count. Let's call up our keyboard and let's count those half steps. Okay, here's our chord. And let's begin with the major third. One, two, three, four, five. C to E is five half steps. From E to G, let's count. One, two, three, four. One through five. There's our major chord. Easy to find, easy to hear. So moving on, 